right, so everybody's asking about the new Holly 6.8 6 Pro Dash. Uh, I just got one in. I figured I would uh, start my video comparison on this dash versus uh, versus the others by unboxing the thing and uh, showing you what she looks like when you get one. So here we go. It's got a quick start guide, just like all the rest of them. Um, a template for mounting. Yeah, so a template for mounting. And some foam. And there's the dash. So this is actually pretty slick. It's got LEDs built into it on the top. Kind of hard to see. There you go, you can kind of see it right there. Um, what else comes with it? Let's see. Connectors on the back, just like the 12.3 Pro Dash. Um, the USB and GPS is still on the back of it. Let's see what else comes with it. The harness, CAN bus plug, power ground, and then the USB dongle, the uh, CAN extension harness, and then a CAN adapter if you're uh, powering through the CAN plug, which or if you're powering other devices through the can plug. And then here's your GPS module. So uh, I'm gonna set this thing up and uh, do a little rundown on this versus the seven inch versus the 12 inch versus the three and a half inch. So give me a few and I'll be right back. All right, so here are the two dashes next to each other. On the left is the seven inch dash that's been out for a little while. And on the right is the 6.86 inch dash that's uh that just came out as you can see there's a there's a size difference between the two the um the seven inch dash has kind of been the staple so anybody who's got one and wants to compare of course there's dimensions online the resolution on the 6.86 dash is very similar to uh the 12 three dash so if you've been around a 12.3 dash, you know what those are like. The 7 inch dash is a little bit um, behind when it comes to resolution and whatnot. Um, neither of these are hooked up to an ECU, so you know, you'll know you kind of have to just deal with the fact that there's actually no live data. I've just got them on the bench here in order to be able to plug them in next to each other. The uh, 6.86 dash, you can swipe. Right, so, oh, there we go, come on. So you swipe through the screens like this. Come on. Oh, it's still got the plastic thing over top of it, so it doesn't like to respond to my finger, but like a little plastic protective film. But um, these indicators up here, uh, this is your RPM bar in the middle, and then it looks like you can set up indicators over here, uh, you know, for oil pressure or coolant temp or, you know, whatever you want to use. Uh, or turn signals. So some of the uh, the layouts are actually pretty sweet. Some of the new ones that are on the 6.86. And um, this is swiped from side to side if you want to change on the 7 inch. Like you're used to. You have to click on it and then you hit next. Let's say you change them here. Go through all the different screens. And then uh, again, the 6.8 inch dash, you just swipe. So those are really the, the, the key differences as far as size goes. Uh, the 6.8 dash, I feel like will fit in a lot of cars a lot better. Uh, it's, let me see if I can grab my phone here. I have the, my phone is a Samsung Galaxy 10, um, so you get an idea, it's about the size of my 10 plus, oh, it's a little bit bigger display than my, uh, my 10 plus, it's wider, so, so it's actually a wider display than, you know, the Samsung Galaxy 10, um, the, the screen, the, the, the quality of the screen is substantially um, nicer than the seven inch and customization is the same as, as all of them have been over the years. 
So you just, you know, click on it, go to menu, and then you go um, to customize, hit OK. Like I've shown in all the other videos, 12, 3, 7 inch, whatnot, they customize exactly the same. So you just click on it and you, uh, you know, you choose what you want to customize, just like all the other ones. So this dash is actually really slick. I'm a, I'm a fan of this. If you can't fit the 12.3, uh, but you like the more modern, you know, uh, display, a little cleaner looking display of the 12.3, uh, the 6.8 the is a, uh, a really good alternative. So hopefully this shows you all, you know, kind of the, the key differences. Um, and, uh, and I showed you, I believe when I unboxed this, uh, the back of it, the plug is the same style plug that is on the 12.3 as well as the ECUs. So, and then the, uh, these can also be ran together. I'm going to hook up this 6.8 and probably on the passenger side of my car, um, just because why not? So, uh, they all share the same CAN bus data. Uh, they can all be ran on the same CAN bus. So, you could have a 12.3, a 7 inch, and a 6.8. And, uh, and actually, I'm going to wind up putting that little guy probably, uh, up underneath the hood, so I can um, look at some engine vitals and whatnot when I'm, when I'm, uh, you know, listening to it run underneath the hood, or if I'm at a race and I have to glance at something nice and easy. So, but yeah, hopefully that uh, that answers a lot of your questions, makes um, choosing which dash to use a little bit easier. So I'm a big fan of it. Um, I still like the seven inch. It's been a, it's a, that's kind of always been a staple. I put them in a lot of cars. Um, they've always been rock solid. The uh, the 6.8 is a little cleaner, brighter display, uh, a little faster response time. Um, so, you know, pick and choose whichever one you want or buy them all. I don't know. So, have a good one, guys.